Hi guys, today I'll be teaching us how to make a simple A-line dress with plaquettes and um, collar. So let's get started. Now, I'll be using um, crepe fabric, yeah, and I'll be explaining what I've done on the fabric already. So my fabric is already folded into two and I'm cutting out the back piece first, okay? So um, let me get my tape. Yeah, so I have my shoulder and um, my chest line so for because it's a free dress i did a um, nine inch then shoulder to the hip line and shoulder to the hemline you don't need waistline it's a free dress now on the shoulder line i marked half of my across back same thing on the chest line okay then i linked it together then i also marked cut out my boss circumference plus one inch for side seam you can add extra half inch for ease it's not a fitted garment you know on the hip line i added one inch ease to quarter of my hip circumference okay before adding one inch for side seam allowance then of course on the hemline it's supposed to be a little bit free so that it can work okay so on the hemline i marked quarter of my hip plus three inches for ease so that is for me to be able to walk around then one inch for side seam allowance so that's what i've done basically okay so um now for the neckline since this is back i came down by one inch for the neck depth and the neck width i'm doing 3.5 i don't want the color to choke my neck too much okay then i'll just add seam allowance to the armhole okay Okay, I'm just trying to make my hammer more visible. Okay, so I'm going to add seam allowance and I'll cut it out. Now, after cutting out, I cut another duplicate, the lower one right there. So, um, I'll be using one of them, them using one of them as um, the front, the other as the back. So, let me just use the top one as the front since that is where I have all my markings already. Okay, so for the front neckline, the neck um width is the same thing on the back but the depth is different so i'm coming down by three inches but if you want a really fitted a really fitted and shirt you can do three or you measure it to be on the same side so i'll just come down by three and a half but you know i already came down by one inch initially from the back measurement okay so i'm taking out the one inch then i'll just mark um 3.5 there then with the aid of my French curve, I'm going to create the neckline for the front. Then after I've done this, while cutting out, I'll just add half inch for seam allowance and the neckline. So this is for back. This dress is, um, well, it looks simple, but the process of construction is actually um, a little bit tasking a bit. Okay, so this is front and back. So now I'll go ahead and press my front. Yeah, because I want the center front fold to be very visible. So you can see it's, I pressed it with my steam iron. Now, next thing, I'm going to measure the length of my placket. Now, for this dress, the placket is really long. So I'll, I want it to be as long as um, 15 inches. Okay, that is after the um, neckline. Okay, so this is way below the waistline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's because, you know, we already cut out the neckline there. So, I'll just mark my 15 inch. That is where I want the placket to get to. Okay? Then, for the plaquettes facing, I've already cut out the length. is 17 inches. Now, the length of the placket that we marked on the fabric is 15. So, you add extra 2 inches to whatever length you're working with. Then, the width is um, 6 inches. Yeah. So, I hope we got that. Then you're going to fold the placket into two with your pressing iron. So let me go over that again. I said the length width is six inches and the length will be the length of your placket plus extra two inches. Now you should also add interfacing to the wrong side. Okay, you fold and then you're going to be marking half inch on both sides of the fold. Okay, so that half inch is going to be your seam line. Then... Um, the seam line will stop at exactly 15 inches, okay? The length of the placket I want is 15 inches there. So the remaining 2 inches is for um, seam allowance, okay? So I'm marking half inch on both sides. Then I'll take this to uh, my front pattern now. So this is my front pattern, okay? The right side of the placket facing the wrong side of the fabric. I hope you got that. 
then you should use your tailor spin to hold the placket uh, sorry the fabric the placket facing i beg your pardon to the dress okay and then i will show us how i'm going to stitch it round along that half inch mark that i made okay so i'm going to take this to my sewing machine now yeah so we are going to be sewing along this curve so you're just going to sew down gently make sure you pin it so that the placket you know is well positioned at the center of the dress okay now i'm done sewing i'm now going to open up the plackets so watch me i'm going to cut this midway i'm taking my pins off then i'm going to cut open in between um, the middle of the fold and the first seam there you can see i didn't cut the middle place it's, it's in between and then um i want to cut out the second part too okay in between the middle of the pl um, the placket facing and the seam i also made on the other side can you see what i've just done then you leave about half inch before the end of the fold there okay yeah so i'm trying to like knitting up that place very well next thing you're going to create notches at those corners so that you'll be able to flip over the placket to the right side like that okay so once you've done this next thing you go ahead and you know iron down quarter of an inch on both sides of the plackets okay so now that i've done that i'm going to flip my placket over to the wrong side sorry the right side okay and then um we'll be stitching it on the seam allowance so now i've flipped over my placket to the right side the right side so i'll be stitching um the fold the th uh, one quarter inch fold onto the seam allowance like that can you see it okay so and then you should use your pins to secure the fabric especially that i'm working with um a sheer fabric okay so you're going to fold this and place it on the seam allowance please not this way on the seam allowance so i want to start sewing on one side so you're sewing very close to the edge so you have to sew carefully you know if this is your first time just sew it very slowly so that you don't um sew like away from the seam line okay so i'm done sewing one side this is how it's going to look like you can see it then your stitch is going to stop at that 15 inch mark okay you know the length of the placket facing is 17 inches that i did so you stop two inches before um the marking or where the length of the placket stops there then i'll repeat the same process on the other side of my placket yeah i would also um stitch down the um, placket to the seam allowance okay so um it's the same thing now for this side you just you know continue the fold there but you're not sewing now coming to the other side of the placket here like i said i'll be stitching it down to the seam allowance just like what we did for the first one there so let me just do that so just um watch me closely you're also going to be stopping the stitch at that 15 inch mark like that so by the time you finish sewing this other placket is going to be on top of the second one okay but you have to first of all complete um this stitch here first okay so here we go yeah i'm done um fixing um the pocket on the other side it's still remaining my two inch 
excess over there so now i'm going to show us how to close up the um, plaquettes okay it's really really simple what you're going to do now you're going to fold the second one on top of the first one like this okay and then we have um two inch extra there but to reduce the bulkiness there you know we have you know um two plaquettes now on top of each other so we need to reduce the bulk so i'm going to trim off the lower fabric there just to reduce the bulk because i'm still going to fold yeah so i'll just fold this once and then the second time okay so i'll just go down and stitch it round okay and that's it this is how it's going to be can you see i'm done stitching it so next thing is to couple the dress i'll now join the front and back together the shoulder this is my back piece i'll join to the front shoulder to shoulder okay so i'm done joining the shoulders together next thing now is to cut our sleeves now for the sleeve i have done a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve i'll be dropping the link in the description box the only difference is that i made the um, armhole measurements you know a little bit bigger and then so we can have a little bit of pleats and then for the um opening of the sleeve okay I also doubled it okay for instance I think um, the sleeve opening here is about 10 so I made it 20 so that I'll have enough fabric to pleats okay so this is about um, 20 and I open it up okay so I'll pleat it back then I also cut out um, a band so the band the length of the band is about um, 4 inch plus seam allowance and then the width is the width of my sleeve opening there that's about 10 then plus um seam allowance too okay so now i want to couple the sleeves so what you do i've already notched the center of my um sleeve and the band so i'll just split the um sleeve to meet up the band there okay so you can pleat or you can make gathers okay just you know um just eliminate the fullness by doing the gathers or pleats that way now after i've done that i'll be attaching this to my dress okay so don't forget i said i made the armhole circumference longer so i have excess on the sleeve there meaning i'll be able to make you know one or two pleats on um, the dress that's on the armhole opening so i'll just attach the sleeve okay shoulder to shoulder point with my tailor spin and the armhole to armhole then i have excess okay to create my pleats so it's that simple so i fixed both sleeves next thing now is to start you know to sew the side seam and i'll start from um, my sleeve there so i'll just sew one inch all the way down on the wrong side same thing on the other side there okay so next now is to create our color now i've done a tutorial on how to make color in my last class the color stand and the main color so this is like the color stand so you should go and watch that tutorial on how to make a color that's the color stand that's what i'm using here okay so i'll be sewing half an inch at the top part there yeah then when i do this i'm going to create a top stitch okay meanwhile you should interface the fabric with paper or sd to give it um stability or structure so um now to top stitch you sew the seam allowance to the lining like this so you can see what i'm doing i'm stitching down the seam allowance to the lining though i use the same fabric as my lining but you should just take the one is the lining okay so here this is it i will now go ahead and give it a very good press then i'm going to fold in half inch on the fabric so this is it i already folded my half inch on one side of the facing of the collar i beg your pardon now i'll attach my collar to the dress i'll start from um the inward parts there okay so i'll just notch my center back i'll also notch the middle of my collar okay then I'll just um, pin them together like this. Like I said, I'll start sewing from outside. Okay, that's from the wrong side of the right side of the fabric. I beg your pardon. So I'll just attach the collar 
like so and i like to start from the middle so that there's a balance okay then for the end of the color you just fold in you fold in like this okay and just stitch it down with half an inch there okay then you can now flip it over to the right side can you see then um yeah it's gonna be like this so let me finish up the other side of the color before i come to turn the outer part like this so uh, the same thing i'm just gonna sew with um quarter of an inch and then um i finalize with the outer parts of the color and when i'm done i'm going to show us the outcome of the dress it's so lovely i hope you learned one or two things for this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you're just joining us for the first time thank you so much for watching bye